Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a character to a factor in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you three examples and in the first example I'm going to show you how to convert a character vector to a factor vector. So first we need to create some example data as you can see here in line three of the code. So if you run this line, you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also check the class of this vector object. And as you can see, after running line five of the code, uh, here at the bottom, the RStudio console is returning the value character. So our original vector has the character class. Now, if we want to convert this character vector to a vector, we can use the sFactor function, as you can see here in line 7 of the code. So within the sFactor function, we simply need to specify the name of our character vector. So in this case, we called our character vector vec. So we simply need to specify vec here within the sFactor function. And then we can also store the new vector, the factor vector, in an updated data object and uh, here in this example we are calling the updated vector object vec updated. So if you run line 7 of the code, you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right. And we can also check the class of this vector object by running line 9 of the code. And now you can see that this new vector is a vector. So in the second example, I want to show you how to convert a character column of a data frame to a factor. And for this task, we also need to create some example data first. And this is what we are doing here in lines 12 to 16 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that our example data frame contains four columns and five rows. Before we convert one of these columns to the factor class, I'm going to replicate this data frame because I want to use the same data frame later on in the third example. And uh, we can replicate our data frame by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see that a new data frame with a name data2 is appearing at the top right. And uh, now let's assume that we want to convert the column x2, um, which is right now a character column, as you can see by running line 21 of the code, into a vector. And uh, we can do that by running the code of line 23. And as you can see in line 23 of the code, we are again applying the sFactor function. And this time we are specifying within the sFactor function the column that we want to convert from the character class to the factor class. And we can specify that we want to convert exactly this column by writing the name of our data frame. So in this case, the name is data2. Then we have to write the dollar sign. And then after the dollar sign, we need to specify the name of the column that we want to convert. And then finally, we need to assign this new factor column to the original column of our data frame. So if you run line 23 of the code, um, the new factor column is stored in our data frame. And now we can also check the class of our new column by running line 25 of the code. And now you can see that our new column is a factor. Now in the last example of this video, I want to show you how to convert all character columns of our data frame to the factor class. And uh, before we can do that, we need again to replicate our original data as we already did in example two. So if you run line 28 of the code, you will see that a new replication of our original data appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data three. Now we can also check 
all the classes of our data with the str function, as you can see in line 30 of the code. So if you run this line, you will see that here at the bottom um, of our studio in the RStudio console, um, certain information on our data frame is returned. And you can also see that this output contains the classes of all our variables. So the variable x1 is an integer, the variable x2 is a character, the variable x3 is a numeric, and the variable x4 is also a character. So let's assume that we want to convert all character columns of our data frame to the factor class. Then we can do that, as you can see in line 32, um, by applying a combination of the unclass and the sdataFrame functions. So more precisely, we need to specify within the sdataFrame function the unclass function, and then within the unclass function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. Yeah, and then we can store this new data frame in a data object. So in this case, we are just updating our data object data frame. So if you run line 32 of the code, the data frame data 3 is updated and we can also check the new classes of our updated data frame by running line 34 of the code. And then you can see that again the same type of information is shown here at the bottom in the RStudio console. But you can also see that this time our updated data frame contains factor columns instead of character columns. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more on the conversion of characters to factors in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the YouTube channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.